Welcome to the start of the tutorial series for the Fury Tank System. Uh, so the first thing you will need for this, if you want to set up the system, is to be on the Discord Triton, um, link in the description, or I'll edit one in or whatever. Next thing you need to do is download the RBXL. The RBXL will be in the Fury Releases um, channel. And after you get that, open that up and then continue on with this tutorial. Uh, so first folder that is needed is tank folder. So what we're just going to do, we're going to go open here, we're going to go new folder, and we're just going to write tank folder. This folder is needed by Fury because this is where the tanks will be stored from the spawner. Um, and if they're stored elsewhere, else elsewhere, they're not going to work. Next thing is uh, tank spawners. Now tank spawners, they're not really needed, but because I don't want to set up manual spawners or code some, I'm just going to put this in here. Um, all we're going to do is copy and paste all of these from replicated storage into our uh, little document. Same with our server script service. All for, all for, if you don't want to keep the example UI, then you don't have to. Um, I'm not going to keep it because it's just an API. I'll cover APIs in a future tutorial. It's something for coders to utilize um, to show like damage or print something when the tank gets hit by another player or to add a score system to your game if you want money to be given to a player if they destroy other enemy tanks if you want to make your own little ripoff war funder basically okay next is the repair the repair tool is not really needed you don't need to include it i will include it because i have to display it i accidentally opened a content manager uh, hold on my finger slipped there no i don't care okay and that's about it from the entire thing. Next, we're going to set up collision groups. Collision groups, um, you can do these in model, collision groups. And as you see um, in here, we don't, and you see, we don't hear, see any here. And if we go to here, we see some. So all we have to do is replicate these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this. I'm going to make a table view and I'm just going to add a group. And this will be called wheels, because that's what it's called in the Norong, yep, turret, and then hole. And all that you have to do is disable this, 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 this. Ignore the defaults. The default should always collide to everything. But that's about it. Now, everything should work if you... Um, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, for next, we have to actually publish the game. <laughs> so I'm just going to do Fury 1.3 test. And I'm just going to publish that. And it should be published uh, now. And if I'm not wrong, you have to go to Others, actually no, Security, and you have to allow HTTP requests because um, a remote server needs to check if your um, if your Fury is legitimate. Unfortunately, they don't give out the obfuscated version to much people. Uh, people have gotten the obfuscated versions of Fury before, but there are older versions compared to this one now. But yeah, now let's continue. Um, one last thing you have to do is go here to the tank storage and you have to set the primary part to base for every tank that doesn't have it. Um, so so like for example this M163, it didn't have it on default so it had it was like this. Uh, you have to search base and then you have to click on the base with the primary part. Or else the system's not or else the spawning system here is not gonna work because for some reason it's coded like that. Yeah, don't ask. <laughs> Let's say you don't want to see that um, name marker on the top of the tank. Well, all you have to do is go to settings on the Profury spawner, which is under service script service, go to settings and just change the overhead from true to false. Um, so, and if you want the overhead, but you don't want to show like the owner's name, then set this false. Or if you want to change the, if you, if you don't want it to show the type of the tank, then just change this to false. <laughs> Um, additionally, you can also uh, make it so you can't teleport into the tank when you spawn it, so you have to manu manually climb in. And that is about it for the Fury um, setup tutorial. If you want to add more tanks, drag them, drag and drop them into tank storage. Um, generally, if you have a custom, if you have a custom tank, you also have a custom projectile. Just drag that into projectiles. Thank you for watching the tutorial. All of the links will be in the description. All of the necessary things.
and the other tutorials will should be linked as well if they're out.